So there was two French doctors speaking on television there on a, a network called LCI on April the 1st. And I want you to hear they are speaking about testing a COVID-19 vaccine in Africa. And I want you to hear the way they're describing it. Now they're speaking in French, but the translation is going to be in English for you to read. Let's roll that clip. Je peux être provocateur. Est-ce qu'on ne devrait pas faire cette étude en Afrique où il n'y a pas de masque, pas de traitement, pas de réanimation, un peu comme c'est fait d'ailleurs pour certains, certaines études dans le sida où chez les prostituées, on essaye des choses parce qu'on sait qu'elles font, elles sont hautement exposées et elles se protègent pas. Est-ce que, qu'est-ce que vous en pensez? Alors vous avez raison, euh, et d'ailleurs on est en train de réfléchir en parallèle à une étude en Afrique justement pour pour faire ce même type d'approche avec le BCG, un placebo. Euh, je pense qu'il y a un appel d'offres qui est sorti ou va sortir, et je pense qu'on va en effet euh, euh, sérieusement réfléchir. So that, in that video, the guy, Jean-Paul Myra, he is the head of the intensive care department at Colchin Hospital in Paris. And the other guy is Camille Locke, he's a research director at the French National Institute of Health and Medical Research. So they want to test out their vaccines, whatever they're developing, and using Africans as guinea pigs. Why don't you use your people for guinea pigs? Why don't you pay your people money to put their life on the line? And listen to what he was saying. He said they want to do that over there because they don't have no masks, no treatment, no intensive care. See, the border is being shut down to all these Western people. That is a good thing for Africa, trust me. The longer that go on, the better Africa can be because right now they're seeing that they need to be self-sufficient and stop depending on China. Then you have uh, France who want to just run rampant all over West Africa. That's exactly where they would go. They would go to West African nations. They still have a hold on to be doing this. I mean, this is sick. This is wrong. Now, a brother by the name of Samuel Eto, if I'm saying it right, brother, he is a Cameroonian football legend. Of course, they mean soccer. Now, he called them assassins, in which the brother was right. He says that um, they have a colonial mindset. He said, Africa is not your playground. That's what the brother stated. And people went off when they seen this clip, the television network removed the talk show recording from their website and social media pages without even commenting on the incident at all because they knew good and well they were wrong, but they should have put out some sort of statement. But let me tell my brothers and sisters something on the African continent. And I gotta be very limited on what I say here. Stop letting these people come to your countries and sticking something in your arm. Tell them, take that back to their country and stick in their own people arm. That's what they need to do. Don't let them fear monger you. Don't let them say you don't have the medical facilities to handle this. And listen, I'm in the United States of America and they can't handle it. Look at them. Look at the press conferences. You guys got access to see the internet. Donald Trump got up here saying that 100,000 or 200,000 people could possibly die. The Pentagon is ordering 100,000 body bags. Don't seem like a country that got their act together, right? So if America don't have their act together, don't feel bad with that situation. And y'all don't even have the problem. Y'all don't have that mess going rampant all over the country. The thing is, it's happening more in Western nations, okay? That's what is happening at. It's not rampaging all over the continent like that. It's not. Is it there? Yes. But it's not rampaging like it is in these Western countries. So they want to leave their country, probably going to bring that mess to you guys. And they want to use poor people who just trying to get by and want to stick things in their arm to see if it works or not. How many Africans you going to take out that way? You get what I'm saying? It's time for Africans on the continent to be just as aggressive as you are to your fellow brothers and sisters who could be a different country or a different tribe. Because some of you, you very tribalistic, very. I'm not them, they not me. I don't like them because they from West Africa. I don't like them because they from East Africa. Man, forget that. In the whole world, 
all of us are black. It don't matter what part of Africa you come from, America, the Caribbean, wherever black folks are at, we all treated the same way. We aren't liked and they always got something sinister for black folk. So since you got this video, since you know about it, don't allow that to happen. Don't let these quote unquote NGOs come into your country and say, Oh, we want to give you medicine and we want to give you this and give you that. No, no, no. Say so we can do it ourselves. We got our own doctors. We got our own everything. We don't need you. And if we don't have it, we can travel to another African country and see if we can get it there. These people don't mean you no good. None of them. They have always been there to take, 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 take. And what have they given? Nothing. They, they took a, a great portion of the African family away from the continent and they dispersed us. That's why we are called a diaspora because we have been taken away forcibly and dispersed all the things that you see in these other nations, all of the great inventions black people have uh, invented in many nations, all the accolades, all of the money black people make that belongs to all of that belongs on the continent of Africa, every bit of it. So these people have no right to come in and try just to stick things in your arm just to see if it works or not. And then after how many Africans pass away from what they're doing, then they take, they take it back to uh, their countries and say, okay, it works now after I didn't probably didn't kill about a thousand Africans in the process. Oh, now I can inject you with it now since we know it works. Forget that. Tell them go do it to their own people. Matter of fact, tell them stay out your country. You don't want that virus coming in because they've been bringing it all over the continent. Every time you look up, somebody was either went to one of their countries or brought it down there. They didn't have no cases before. And if African nations would have shut their borders off uh, quicker, they wouldn't have no cases right now at all. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation with these two French, and I'm about to call them devils because they are devils. They're sitting up here, want to do this. They, they talked about uh, how they were doing the AIDS testing and they was using all kinds of trials on prostitutes, they were saying, because they didn't protect themselves as they should have. I mean, these people always, and they blatant with it. They open, they said it on open TV, live TV, they said it. But let me know what you think, brothers and sisters on the continent, please, I, I, I'm asking you, I'm begging you as your brother, don't let these people in your country talk about they want to give you something. Forget that. Get it from your own countries.